Hey guys, we're here today with Mets athlete Simon Hearn, who's come in to do a VO2 max test on the bike. Last week he came in and did his treadmill test, but today we'll be getting his uh, heart rate and power training zones. So what this test actually measures is the total volume of oxygen that his body can take in, transport and utilise in one minute. Uh, this is a key performance indicator for endurance events because the more uh, energy that you can make aerobically, the more power that you can push without getting fatigued and metabolic byproducts. So at the moment we've just got him getting some resting values. Uh, in about 10 seconds we'll change the phase into a warm-up phase, so he'll be cycling at 50 watts, so you can start doing that now, Simon, that should come up. Yep, up to 50. Um, and then after this we'll start him out at 90 watts and we're going to increase that by 15 watts a minute until he can't go any longer. And from that we're going to get a nice linear curve and we'll be able to get his heart rate and power training zone which he can then use during his base uh, building phase to optimise his training performance. So we're about 10 minutes into the test now. So it's just what, uh, 210 watts now. So uh, heart rate 143, he's in the 40, the VO2, so he's done pretty comfortably. Uh, we'll get the halfway point here, so just concentrating on staying smooth and, and uh, keeping his breathing steady. And uh, the pain will start probably in about five minutes, I reckon. Alright, mate, 345, pull it out, keep that cadence up. Alright, 182, sitting over 70 now, come on. Stay strong. Keep going, keep that cadence on, it's not big. Doing well. 73.8, come on, mate. 15 gallons. Take 15 seconds of the time, 30 seconds left on the stage. Then we're up to 360, come on, good value. Good work. Alright, 15 seconds of the stage. You're a little bit to 360, come on. Good work. 